All right, so enough has changed in the last few weeks that I wanted to do a new walkthrough video for people of the course site that we proposed for the Open Course Library Phase 2 um, development courses. The, uh, we decided to, to build in Phase 2 in Google Sites and to link the Google Sites to Google Docs so that all of the course content for the for the course can be in a Google Docs collection that's easily downloadable. You can either download um, one individual content item or the whole content collection at one time, or you could just link to it if you wanted to. But uh, all of this is available in a sample site. If you go to sites.google.com slash a slash sbctc.edu slash ocl underscore template, and that'll get you to this screen here which uh, shows the example course and we have um, an example syllabus or not, it's not so much a sil syllabus as it is things that people might consider adding to their syllabus if they're going to use some of this content what other instructors have used we have a little bit about the person who created the content who the developer is this is just an example here and we have a link that goes to the opencourselibrary.org page and then we have a, um, a page here with a link to uh, the content in the Google Docs collection, which you have to be logged into a Google account in order to download. You can view it without, uh, without downloading it if you're not logged into Google. But if you have a Google account, it doesn't matter um, where it comes from, then you can download everything. And so there's a video here that explains that, um, how to be, make sure that you're logged into Google before you click on this link. And when you click on that, it takes you to the um, to the course content, and you can navigate around in it and see all of the different content items and things that people have uh, that the developer added here. Um, and then, if you want to, you can select either the entire content collection or just specific parts of it. And under More, you can choose to download. And this is the cool part. You can choose the format that you want the content to come out in. Do you want to have a series of PDFs? Do you want this to be Microsoft Word documents? Your choice. You specify the format that you want and you click download and it will create a, a zip file uh, that will contain all of that content. And another great thing about that is that you can unzip the content and use it on your local computer if you want to or if you're using a learning management system Angel, Moodle, uh, Blackboard 9.1 can all import this content uh, and it will come in as a series of discrete content items or separate content items.